The American South is older than the United States, whether measured by territory, population, or distinctive history and culture. It is as important to the history of the world as are many separate nations. Not too long ago, this was widely understood. There was a long period in the relatively short span of American history when the South was representative of the normal and mainstream of American life. A period in which people who thought of America thought of Captain John Smith and Pocahontas, Washington, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Andrew Jackson, Clay, Davy Crockett, and John C. Calhoun, the battles of Yorktown, New Orleans, and the Alamo. More recently, politics, scholarship, and education have worked overtime to purge the Southern tradition from the cultural and physical landscape to banish it to one little dark corner labeled slavery and treason. In a series of lectures he gave at Harvard, the distinguished historian Eugene Genovese described this as a, and I quote, cultural and political atrocity, end quote, against the young people of the South, black and white. It is a form of ethnic cleansing directed at millions for whom the Southern tradition is still real. But just as importantly, the Southern tradition contains a great deal that is worthy of preservation and application. And its suppression is a great loss to the intellect and culture of our time. There is much in the Southern tradition that offers an alternative American answer to the centralized imperial government, economy, and ideologically charged culture under which we now live. The Abbeville Institute was formed in 2002 at the University of Virginia by a group of scholars in history, literature, philosophy, religion, and other disciplines. Its mission is to preserve and present what is true and valuable in the Southern tradition. The fellowship has grown to over 170 scholars and associates. Among other activities, the Institute has conducted annual summer schools for college and graduate students, conferences for academics, and educational programs for the public. The website before you presents the fruits of what we have accomplished in our mission so far.